So Kev, been a few days since we took on Yeovil here at the Hive. How are you and how are the lads feeling? Yeah, it was positive today. Um, they, they had a rest day yesterday. It was, for me personally, it was a very frustrating day. Uh, obviously watched the game back, um, seen a few bits and pieces in it um, and showed them it today. And uh, it was a positive meeting in the end. Um, and we dust ourselves down and go again for uh, the Notts County game on Sunday. Because there were plenty of positives, weren't there? The, the attacking play was good, goals were good, there's a lot to take yeah, into. Yeah, it's, it's just frustrating. I think, I think everyone can understand that as well and everyone's frustrated because if you, if you can see late goals, you know, maybe three times, maybe you know, that might be over the season. Uh, but to concede and to give away points three times in six games is, is, is not quite right. So it's something we'll need to address. Um, but we're still staying positive um, and hoping to, to win some games. So not to count your way, how have you prepared your team for that? Yeah, well, like I said, today was a, was a recovery one. Um, so we'll, we'll be looking at the footage of the game. We'll be studying that, me and Rossi. Um, and then we'll get into the tactical preparations tomorrow. Anything in particular that you expect from them? No, I mean, I know Kev, he's a meticulous coach, Kev is. He came into Orient, um, prior to him being manager there, and he, just the way he spoke, he, he's, he's a kind of a natural leader. Um, he's got Richard Thomas with him as well, who's both at Orient. Um, and they're both, they're both good coaches, work really hard. Um, and, he, he, you know, he's, he's got a good run together now. He, he's, he's done quite well with them, um, and the home form's decent. And, and so, it's, it's, again, once again, it will be a tough game. How close do you think that your team is to getting that first win under your leadership? Yeah, well, I think you can see. Listen, if, if the game's lasted 90 minutes, we were in the playoffs now. It's as simple as that. And, and that's, why, that's why it is so frustrating. But, do you know what? That's the beauty of football. You get another chance to go again. And, and football is, you know, it is about ups and downs. And, and, you know, we've had a few disappointing moments. I mean, the other night, it honestly felt like a defeat. So, you know, today was about lifting that morale again and getting them up and, and being bubbly. Um, and looking forward, looking forward to the next game, and that's that's what we, you know, that's exactly what we're trying to do now. On a side note, with Akinola going down with the injury on Wednesday night, how's he doing? Yeah, he's actually not too bad. We're hoping, hoping he'll possibly be available for Sunday. Um, there was a couple of the other night. Obviously, Tutonda was cramping up. He's not played for a while. Um, so, so like I say, uh, hopefully we'll have. Uh, he'll, he'll be okay as well. Um, but Sim, hopefully, be available. So your message is very much. Wednesday's behind us, we dust ourselves off, we go again Sunday. Yeah, abs absolutely. Honestly, it was it was a really frustrating, it was so frustrating. It's prob probably the most angry I've ever been after a game in my whole career. Probably the most disappointed and angry. Um, but then you get 24 hours later on and you think, right, OK, let's move on to the next one. And like I said, the, um, football is just, it's, it's about your ups and downs and how you deal with setbacks. And it was a bit of a setback. But we're two, um, we've lost two in six, and you look at the positive side now, it's two games undefeated. So we'll be building on that.